How's the barricade coming along? Uh, it ain't pretty, but it can take a beating. It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. God's blood, this is heavy. It's for a good cause. Aye. Our asses. See any movement out there? Too dark to tell. If Jahira trusts you, I trust you. But I'll be damned if a bug brain doesn't creep me out. Here. There's more where that came from. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Cheeky. But, since you're asking... It'll need to. Cleric's magic won't hold out the darkness forever. If you're all right by Jahira, you're all right by me. Take care now. See any movement out there? Too dark to tell. I bet they're close. Watching us. Hey! That's close enough. You ain't no Harper and you ain't no Fist. Don't need the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get.
Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shot, damn. But we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. The Absolute's taken him then. No question about it. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Come on. We need to talk to Floric. Guess you need to be a God's damned counselor to get room and board around here. You're here as God send in the flesh. Pleasure to have you. Please, I just want to be alone. Gone. Cultists. It was so dark, I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up, cut us up, said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away, but my love, Dennis. Martin Dahl, Roshan. If they didn't kill him when we ran, they probably will once they get to Moonrise. I just wish I could have said goodbye. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. I can't. I can't.
push out a bag of holding. Open up. That might be worth a look.
poor are you and us? Kid was as green as they come. He was joking this morning. Jonas, I mean. He was always joking. He said it was good for morale, but he just liked seeing people laugh. He was a good harper. A good friend. I hope so. They're all I have to give. Thank you. You're a good person. Take a stroll, have a drink. Enjoy them while you can. I've seen that ox before. I'm certain of it. Aha! Uh -huh. Thought I sensed an infernal. What are you doing here? Same thing as you, I reckon. Trying to stay out of the shadows. Hold on. I know you. The weaponsmith, right? 
Drafted into the Blood War when your city was swallowed by Avernus. Not too different from my own story. Well done making it out alive. Same to you. Though unless my senses deceive me, you brought a bit of the Hells back with you. Infernal Engine? Who needs a heart when you've got one of these to keep you warm? Thank you, Zariel. Forget warm. You're burning up. Might be burning out a piston ring. Or leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Please do. I've been dying to find an infernal mechanic. Now that's hot. Too hot. I think I could sort you out. But I'll need some infernal iron and a lot of luck. Hey, soldier. We've got some infernal iron already. Let's give it to him, eh? Please let this work. Mmm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. Can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. Give me just a moment. And I think... There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of heat. That feels... Good. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... Changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Let me sleep on it. I just might be able to work something out. Hopefully the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. I'll need more infernal iron either way, though. So keep your eyes open. Take care. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Do you want to? Ha! <laughs> I kick your ass! But I think we both enjoy the process. Let's find that infernal iron so we can fight it out. Mmm, it's toasty in here. Glad to see you made it. I am. Indeed I am. On the double. One hoof quickly following the other. I remember you from the grove with the druids. But I think you were taller then. Still incapable. Not for you to know.
close. Your mind to mine. <laughs> Quiet, and you won't have to find out. Good little hero. You? What are the odds? So glad you're all right. Well, as all right as any of us. A makeshift Harper's Fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. I... I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons, but no one has earned my trust if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a Devil's Smithy. It should have been awful, but infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I won't say I enjoyed my time there. But it was certainly... Instructional. I'll be here if you need anything else.
You look well equipped. Good. You wouldn't believe the state of some of these lads. Let's head inside. There's food and warmth to spare. What a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. I'm watching you, buddy. A hero at heart. Adorable. Vicious, but adorable. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Welcome to our humble. Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh. Yeah. I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a more demon in two hits. Bam, bam! We were all like, whoa! Ever heard of the Blade of Frontiers, kid? If you like monster smashing, you might be a fan of his work. Who's that? A lovely chap. Didn't kick ass in the Blood War, but that's neither here nor there. That's true. But he never got kidnapped by a devil either. Uh, huh? <laughs> Sorry, kid. Look, forget about us big grudges and bruises. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. It is, isn't it? I hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Check it out! We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me, and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack -a day
Maybe. It is kind of old. Here. Birds of a feather. In the market for something special? Pleasure doing business with you. In the market for something special? Pleasure doing business with you. What are you looking for? Pleasure doing business with you. Last light's best bargain. Don't right wander here. far. We need to talk. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout. Seems we missed one another at the Grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. Aye, and more than half the others with him. We were ambushed, out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us, making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Hope. You would bid me hope. We've no brighter horizon ahead of us. There's just the city. If I can get us there alive. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. A faded advertisement, its message still faintly legible. Fresh veg and fancy fruit. Buy two, get one free. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest... Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they'd got you too. 
I keep replaying it over and over in my head. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids, telling them it was going to be all right. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first. Then his tongue. It just... It just never stops. Roland, of all people, saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. And I'm damn glad of it. Without him... Well, none of us would be here. Yes. He shielded me and the kids, while his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? We're in the same boat, then. That's somewhat of a comfort. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. among the cultists, man. Preparing to march, I wager. That way. Someone's been skimming our supplies. Is anyone keeping an eye on those Blood children off. from Elkerel? Maybe not, Mom.
There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. I'd rather drown than talk to a sanctimonious prick like you. If you're here to save the day again, you're a little late this time. Myself? No, you god-bothering idiot. I blame you. I was ready to cut and run back at the grove, but you had other ideas. Carl and Leo are taken in by your crap. You convinced them to play hero. And now they're gone. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass. Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. If this is about Roland, go away! He called me a ragged little devil! I will, too! Anyway, it's his loss. I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Pretty sure it's magic. I was going to give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. It's for Roland. I'll keep it then. Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye-bye. I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then either.
I say yes! This is my territory, and you're in it. Indeed you will. Or you'll find my claws planted firmly in your dangles. Begone! Welcome. Have a drink. Oh, my God! To your very good health. a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Bottoms up. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true, and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Just... Answer the question. Look around you. Good men, good women. Stranded here. Two feet in the grave. If we're to survive, I have no choice but to trust you. Can I? Good. Because I'll cross your heart myself if you break it. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Believe me, he was well and truly dead. I locked his corpse in the Thorn Mausoleum myself. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Ketherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. 
commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself, only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He yielded right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless, but experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. You are that hope. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword, together we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Without a cure for your infection, your days are numbered too. Yet you selflessly offer to spend them fighting alongside us. I like you. I promise I will do everything I can to make sure you survive this. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Your move, Maul. You trap me! I didn't even want to take this one! Kalim Shah. And rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Syric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's where now, Chief? Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How's that for Kalimsham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it. Weren't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. 
Please let me smack this creep. Her victory was hollow, of course. Frankly, I expected better of you. Did Maul ask to have your god win the game for her? Oh, I promise on every treasure I own. You've never dealt with a devil like me before. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying, she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. Why spoil it? It's all out there, waiting to be discovered. You never know what you might find if you just dig a little deeper. She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. Splendid. And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will or is it the worms? But you have no answer and no way of knowing. The good thing is, though, there's only one little voice you really should listen to. Mine. See you soon. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. Should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game, and she'll walk away. Then Raphael collects another trophy, and Moll sells her independence to the Hells. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Moll would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard.
Nice to see a friendly face come out the shadows for once. An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravenguard or losing him forever. I hope you'll help us. You're heading into the towers, are you? Good. I pray it's not too late for Duke Ravenguard. If you're poking around this god's forsaken place, you must have someone in Moonrise, too. Hope you find them. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first Flaming Fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Florent. Hells. I know that voice. Will? In Timora's name, what happened to you? The Hells have had their vengeance. And I doubt they are done with me. Ye gods. Fate has no shortage of troubles to burden us with. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers. Isabel cleared this place, and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. It beggars belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. Cleric of Saluna. She's got a room upstairs if you want to meet her. Just don't interrupt her while she's doing whatever it is that keeps this place shadow free. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but feel free to say hello. Maybe a new face will inspire him. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The Council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. Gortash, as in... Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravenguard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me, and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. 
This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. No, but they always seem to get it, don't they? We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. Not sure I'd call it that myself. This fellow's in no condition to help anyone. That makes you our best bet. Hope it's a good one. Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Art Color? I'm Fistula. You, sir. One of our own's been taken. A Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell. Yet it has not broken. you bring him here? You'd be glad of the help, wouldn't you, sir? A century locked inside a Shah and curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who want to be seeing you. No, not till I met R, anyway. Seems to be all he remembers. This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Thank you. Listen, is that a parchment in his pocket? Please, if you have any idea how to get through to him. patient is physically well, but psychologically detached, dissociated from himself. Without a reminder of who he is, of what he held dear, his mind will remain lost to the darkness. Thank 
fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. If he does, he isn't sane. Greetings. Chuck, you believe you can survive without me? As you say, do not. Premium treat. Copper for your thoughts. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Greetings. Hey, soldier, I... <sighs> well, I'm not feeling so good. <sighs> My engine... It's getting worse. <sighs> Feels like it's gonna burst out of my chest. <sighs> we need to catch up with Damon. See if he's thought of a way to fix this thing. If it can be fixed. I'm sure we will. But, in case we don't, a bit of advice. You leave your left flank wide open. If I'm ever not around to cover it, you may find yourself on the wrong side of a goblin spear one of these days. Hey, soldier. connection between us like we're two souls walking the same path you might be a little naive in the ways of the world but i see promise in you ambition uh, just that you have a big heart you like doing what's right 
So I was thinking, what would be the right thing to do when we get to Moonrise Towers? When we come face to face with whoever is controlling the parasites in our heads? Yes. Exactly. Just think. How many people have the Mind Flayers infected? Hundreds? Thousands? And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the Worm's Thrall. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power we'd wield. That's just the thing. If we control the parasites, then we can order them not to change us. All the power with none of the tentacles. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe and liberate the world from this evil. I knew I was right about you. It's so good to find a kindred spirit. Of course, this all assumes we live long enough to find this uh, moonrise, but I'm feeling optimistic. So, that's what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Did you want something? Rings a bell? Why? Oh, hells. You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous! Joking! They're safe. And beautiful. Thank you. I don't have anything to give you in return, I'm afraid. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later, all the same. Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. All right. Some company wouldn't hurt on the road, especially if there's trouble.
These things have stayed interesting. What's on your mind? Oh, you know me, never the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positives. The truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. It won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. Well met. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at moonrise. They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravengar to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin unless we put a stop to it. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. You wish to speak? He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can.
Can't afford to stay idle. All right. What now? to do. No one stopped me yet. The voice of the Absolute is strong here, and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You took an unexpected route here. You did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. Don't be so hard on yourself. It's not your fault the world is wicked. You did the right thing. It just doesn't stop. We are beat wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through.
Ah, Shadowheart. How blessed Just I am like to be so bargains, near. right here! and blades always sharp. Trinkets and doodars. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. And you and me are climb, climbing up a tree. It's true then. He's met Daniel. There's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Daniel. If he was able to escape the Shadow Fell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. Without Daniel, no. And I don't know how I can find him without speaking to this man. I don't deserve you, my friend. Take it easy while you can. We'll keep the watch. Mug of ale, 4 CP. Chopped cheek, 3 SP. Daily special, inquire. Mm. Might be useful.
when they find out the monster hunter is becoming a monster. I've faced countless perils, conquered them all. This will be no different. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint though. I didn't realize I had an audience. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Pleased to meet you. And you mine. Not many comprehend the task of steadfast faith. Our Lady has granted me the ability to protect these people. It isn't a permanent fix, but it's what we've got. Speaking of, you must be here for the protection spell, yes? Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. But there are places it won't help. Places where the curse is darker, stronger. The cultists are able to traverse even the deepest shadows, though. I don't know how. The Harpers are trying to figure it out. Salunite magic. Dark Lady, forgive me. Good nose. Like a nasty little terrier. I'm sure your god already grants you a great deal. But a little extra never hurt. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. Isabel? Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Ketherick himself. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive.
into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. The Absolute? Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. <sighs> he already has. Time to go, Isabel.
One day, I'll catch a break. Watching up. Wants her alive at any cost.
me. Finding my way.
Coming through.
waste a step. On my way. Got it. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederik will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Good. 
because your work here is only beginning. No mercy, for Kethric will have none on you. End this. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow cursed harpers. Don't jest. We're all closer to oblivion than you might think. And when we're gone, there'll be no one left to stop Catherick. Go on then. It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the harpers, it fell here when they defeated Catherick, the one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights, at any cost. I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia, till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. Moon and shadow, light and dark, divine sisters ever at war, and this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. do the same for any of us. You know it. But how do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. We could. I beat up those harpies, and they're way scarier than shadows. You know what Mole would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. You've seen what's out there. 
We wouldn't stand a chance. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at him. He's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back, please. Good work rooting out the traitor. We'll keep an eye on Isabel. If they send anyone else to snatch her, we'll be there to stop them. Is clear, First, cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? I know. You've been there for us every step of the way. It's just all a bit much sometimes, you know? Traitors among us. A child taken. And still, I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel, too, I... Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I trust that you will. Then speak. Ugh, some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods, or laying with them, depending on the bard. You'll have to sing that one for me when all of this is done. In any case, it was a lifetime ago by now. And for all our victories, we remain on the back foot. We fight, we die. And we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. <laughs> no need of that. Every harper is a bard unto themselves, I'm afraid. Help me root out this cult. And they can spin stories about you for a change. saying Daniel's name. He must know more. <laughs> he keeps saying Daniel's name. He must know more. Ketherick's armies than suffer traitors. Watch out for those flaming fists. <laughs> 